wo ist der Sheriff dieser Stadt? Well, I guess that'd be me. Ron Jeremy McCall Coken. Didn't expect to see you around these parts. Ich werde dich vom Anglitz dieser Erde wischen. Yeah, we don't take too kindly to Thomas around these parts. I'm gonna give you one chance. Leave now. Last chance. Männer, stop him! Keine Waffe kann mich verletzen. Ich bin unbesiegbar. Arno! Warte. <lacht> du verdammter Yankee! Daneben! Jetzt werde ich dich in meinem Zorn... Was? Was ist das? Benzin? Woher kommt das? Ja. Yeah. Ain't nothing personal. Was ist das? Just business. Nein! Lever action rifles. They won the West, will they win your heart? Now, when we talk about this lever action, is this an abomination or is this one of the best implements to have been devised since they were originally created in the times of the Wild West? Today on Grand Thumb, we talk about the Mad Pig Customs Thumper version two. Before we get into these lever actions, we of course have to thank the biggest sponsor of this channel. The biggest sponsor of this channel is what, Charlie? The Desert Sonoran Institute. The Sonoran Desert Institute. A big thank you to them. If you're looking to get your start in gunsmithing, they are the people to go to. We can't thank them enough. And of course, before we move forward, we have to thank Primary Arms. A big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. They are making awesome optics and they're at a great price as well. So thank you to Primary Arms. Absolutely. And what can we not forget, guys? We gotta thank Patreon. And we cannot forget Onward Research. It has our products, it has all the awesome swag and merch reports, including this lifeguard hat right here for the summer, Hot Boy Summer. Hot Boy Summer. Or something like that. Point is, get in there and check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, my often forgotten, most certainly not by me. Johnny's. Welcome to the Cattle channel. on the West. Welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Mad Pig Customs Thumper. So we have two different versions. We have a Henry rifle right here. We have a Marlin rifle right here, both in 4570, which is of course a ridiculous caliber. Now, before we get into the video, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hit the range right here. We're gonna do a couple drills and then we're gonna come back and talk about these rifles. But what is the power of the 4570? It is legendary in its ability to take down animals. So today what we're going to be testing is we're going to be testing some 4570 government from Defiant Munitions and this is of course the TCX Mad Pig. This is a pretty hot 4570 round and uh, talk is cheap, ammunition is expensive. So let's go ahead and test this on some ballistics gelatin. So right here we have ballistics gelatin. Uh, this is the clear type of ballistics gelatin. This is going to do... It's a pretty sturdy thing right there. I'm just excited for when we got holes in it finally. So we'll go ahead and we'll fire one round into this. We have the high speed camera. We're going to see how it performs. We have approximately 12 inches of gel. I think it's going to go through all of it. All right, we have 300 grains on the Defiant Munitions and we're going to go ahead and uh, test it out on the ballistics gelatin. But this ballistic gel is dead. Can I say a Lucas Botkin prayer over him? So, I mean, we know 4570 is pretty crazy, but um, that was uh, extremely violent. It seemed to have given itself some type of uh, 
jet in order to, to get it off of Gun the... Gunpowder. I think, I think now's the perfect time to thank our sponsor, biggest sponsor. Jesus Christ. You are not him. Real Talk, the uh, wind channel is of course crazy. This is a insanely devastating round. There is no doubt about it. The lever action rifle, a piece of Americana. It tamed the West, it conquered the West. But the question is, can the lever action, when tacticalized, conquer modern firearms? Yes. Michael's gonna run a Mozambique, all right? This drill, it originally, it was come up with in Rhodesia, and that's how they, they won, right? Everybody says they didn't, but they did. It's gonna be two to the chest, and just like your favorite video on the internet, the mom won't let me watch those anymore, the last one's gonna be to the face. Okay, I'm ready. All right, shooter ready. Yeah. Stand by. You know, that's pretty good. It's not bad. You yeah. know, I will say uh, the spread is a little bit of in there eight, eight inches. Obviously, with a AR-15 or something, you're going to be much more. What's the word? Effective? Quick? Quick? We'll say quick, because mm -hmm. you could easily do sub-second uh, Mozambique with a with any type of semi-auto. So with the lever action, it's a little bit tougher, obviously, because as you're pulling that lever up. Especially for me being so used to a semi-auto, I have a tendency to kind of pull that up a little bit, even when I'm shutting it. So that's going to take a little bit more of doing on my side, you know, yeah. to correct that. But that's that's pretty good. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. You want to run it? To be clear, Charlie is shit with a rifle, good with a pistol. Charlie, are you ready? Uh, high ready, low ready. Uh, we'll do it low ready. All right. Okay. Sure ready. Yeah. Stand by. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you're fucking rifle jam, man. I can't, do, I can't run a drill with broken rifles. Like I was saying before, Charlie can't shoot a rifle, but we're gonna give him another chance to do a Mozambique. Starting from the low ready, shoot a ready. Yeah, oh, yeah, where are you? All right, we're ready to go. Stand by. Two, three, five. Oh, that wasn't bad. Let's come check it out. Yes, sir. I wanna point out this is Charlie's first shot. The weapon's not accurate. Just kidding, it's great. Um, Good, awesome, good shot in the head, man. That was excellent. You know, your first shot was at .54, which is faster than me, which means you're a uh, the better gunfighter. Yeah, that's fast. So Micah, the camera guy, believes that he can do better than us. Um, to be clear, this is like the, was it fourth, fifth take on, of him doing this? Possibly Second take. seventh, fifth. Charlie was way too zoomed in on the first Seventh take? take? We'll right. see how he does. <laughs> Shooter, do you understand the course of fire? I do. Shoot ready. Yep. Stand by. Two oh one. First shot, four one. What was your time? Two three three, but I didn't have a Charlie. Two three three, but my name's not Charlie. Also not an alpha on the head. I uh it was pretty bad. There you go. That's why I shoot cameras. Yeah, but you got that <laughs> drip going on. <laughs> Alright, so. Dr. Thummy Bear here is gonna be shooting a bill drill. Now this drill includes multiple shots, six shots to be exact. The drill was started at the turn of the century. Six shots, A zone, seven yards. You don't want me to get into Donald no, Hemmings' We're good, word? we're good. Sorry. All right. Michael clearly doesn't care about history. Shooter, are you ready? Yeah. Stand by. Seven, five, six. The lever action only holds five, so there had to be a reload on there. Charlie's gonna run the build drill now, six rounds. Uh, obviously, there's gonna be a reload at the end. Uh, shooter, do you understand the course of fire? Yes, sir. Shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. Oh, oh, no. There we go. Take that, cattle rustler. Oh, hold on. One of them fell out. It's right at your feet. There it is. I ain't no there are no resets in combat or cattle rustling. What's the time on that? Uh, that was 1992. That was a good year. Uh, Micah is going to run it again because he feels like he can do better than our cattle rustler, Charlie. Charlie, what do you say to that? 
Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> no, that's that wasn't. <laughs> Shooter, do you understand the course of fire? I do. Shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. Oh, it dropped as well. It's Time's going. Looking. Time's going. Where'd it go? Oh, well. Did I beat him? You actually you did. Woo! It's a time on that. Yeah, but I found mine. You grabbed yours from the supply box. These rifles are really interesting. You know, I think a lot of people will look at a lever action, and I've heard it before, and they'll say, hey, if I can't get an AR-15, or if I'm in a state where an AR-15 is a little bit cocked, then I would choose a lever action is what I hear them say. I'm gonna disagree. I think in every single way, the lever action is certainly an antiquated design. Mm -hmm. It's obviously still functional. Mm -hmm. It's firing an awesome round, the 4570. Mm -hmm. At the same time, of course, a semi-automatic semi weapon is going to be easier to use, um, easier to change the rounds out, because obviously we have to load them one at a time with lever action versus a magazine. So certainly modern semi-automatic weapons are far superior. But that being said, there's always that factor that we kind of gloss over in Grantham, and that is that they are what, Micah? They're cool. They're cool and, fun. and they're fun. Yeah. And you know what? That is absolutely okay because there is nothing like shooting these guys and cycling the, the lever action. It, 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 you really feel connected to the weapon. It really is a well-built design, both the Marlin and yeah. the Henry from Mad Pig Customs because they have done awesome Awesome work. And it's a, I mean, honestly, it's a piece of history here. You know, as soon as you start shooting it, you go back to those vibes of when they first made it. It was, a, it was designed to take down big game like buffalo or fan, but it really took on its own personality, especially when you got all these fancy, I don't know, monofocal things on top. So we're gonna do what we always do, Charlie. What is that? Tip to butt. Tip to butt. So starting off, if you come and take a look at these, now our particular weapons from Mad Pig Custom, of course, have been cut down. Uh, to 14.5 and then the muzzle device is added to get it to an overall length of 16. Thank you ATF for that stupid rule. Mm -hmm. Now there are multiple different options you have here. They don't have to have a muzzle device of any type. They can of course be threaded for a suppressor. And on a 45.70 with many of the rounds being subsonic because they're so damn large, it's actually a really cool caliber to suppress. So if you have the ability, you have a suppressor that can do it, that is something that I would recommend. Now in our guns, I want to run the comps on them because I want to see how well a comped 4570 would work. Charlie, what do you have to say about them? Uh, I mean, honestly, I can't shoot it fast enough to really see the comp in it. Um, it's, it's cool, man. It looks cool. It puts a cool thing on it. And that's a big part about training is, uh, God damn. it's being cool. So with the comps, I will say, they certainly do control the recoil a little bit better than your non-comp weapons, obviously. Um, that being said, uh, the concussion off the 4570 from these comps is, Micah, how would you describe it? It's uh, violent. It's violent. Mm. It, 4570 for me has always been a fairly tame round to fire because yeah. it's, um, in most cases, subsonic. It, it's kind of a slower cartridge, so it's usually pretty pleasant to fire despite yeah. being you know, 400 whatever grains, 500 grains. Yeah. So with the comp, uh, you kind of take a little bit of that back, you get that control, um, but you're certainly gonna get more of that crack. And uh, even our neighbors pretty far out the way um, did notice the comps more so than they have AR-15. So certainly the comp is good, just realize that uh, you're gonna pay for it in some other ways. Well, there's nothing wrong with being violent either. When they were using these guns, that's how we won two world wars against Mexico. That, now obviously moving down, the most obvious thing that's been changed on these weapons is going to be the handguards, right? Mm -hmm. So we have the addition of modern features in two very distinctly different ways to show different ways that you can modernize these particular mm -hmm. lever actions. Now in mine, mine's a little bit more simplistic in, in terms of what they did to it, they made yours out of elephant tusks. They did, and so this is a well-designed rail. We, of course, have M-Lock almost all the way around, and it is everything you could possibly want. Whatever you'd want to mount to this guy is very mountable. We will talk about the different things that we can get onto there. Um, it is very usable. I think it is a little bit much mm. for a lever action. I don't. I, I, mm. I perhaps think that things could have been done to stylize this a little bit more where we had a little less M-Lock perhaps because um, I really don't have a whole lot of things to put on here. I could understand maybe putting a Hoptic USA 
um, you know, ammo quiver right here on the side. So I, I kind of get it, but at the same time, I, I, I want it to be stylized a little bit more, and that's just me really nitpicking. Some dudes worry about fashion, other dudes worry about functionality. Now in stark contrast, I really, I know it's not too much different, but I really like the look of this handguard. So on this guy right here, what's really cool about it is we of course have the full length rail running all the way out on this, and it really adds a lot of flair and style that I think the other rail lacks. Mm -hmm. And of course, we can mount our laser devices all the way out. Mm. This is of course cool if you are hunting hogs at night, if you're hunting, I Fairness. don't say no, if you're hunting whatever, that is a cool feature that you're able to add versus having on the M-Lock, which isn't going to be quite as stable. Now here's something that has to be noted, and I really have to point it out this moment. When we pulled these weapons out, well, when they were being built, I was like, I'm not interested in them. I don't think they're gonna be very cool. I think they look kind of stupid. Mm. And then we got them at the gun store and what was your first comment when you started to oh, work dude, it? they were so sick. They're like, actually super I, sick. I thought they were Borderlands guns. Like, they're nah. very unique looking. This does feel like it's straight out of Borderlands, real talk though. Yeah. Um, it, it just ended up these had like such a vibe. There was so much like, just feeling put into these, a Mad Pig Custom kind of poured their heart and soul into these weapons, and you can't help but just admire not just the worksmanship, but the style that he put into them. Like, they just, they look cool. Yeah, you really have to give it to him for that. Yeah, there's a lot of emotion you just said in that. Now, moving on to what I have attached here. So, of course, we have a Surefire light up here. Mm -hmm. I've attached a pressure pad right up to the top. That way, when I'm gripping this guy, I can just activate it. But back to here, we do have the Hoptic USA um, ammo quiver. So, these are pretty cool. Um, they are going to function much like your shotgun uh, match saver. So I really do like the idea of it. Um, it is a little bit more difficult in terms of getting the round in there. It's not as quick as a shotgun, but it is certainly a step in the right direction. Now you do have to tension these to ensure that your rounds stay in. We didn't when we first got these. We had a couple rounds falling out that's right. easily remedied as long as you know your equipment. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the uh, Hoptic USA queefers there. Um, they didn't really help me on my bell drill, but all, overall, there's something you could buy um, at well, any place that sells them, honestly. So on this particular rail right here, it's not full length like we have on this one, which I like more, but uh, we can, of course, mount everything we want. So we have a Purse 3 right here, we have an EOTech. Um, it is a very usable weapon. And one thing that we also have to bring up is loading. So on the Marlins, um, they, of course, have a loading gate. Uh, again, that's going to be something you have to get used to. But on the Henry's, there are typically two loading methods. So, of course, we have the loading gate. As well, typically on Henry, you would have the ability to put it in through the top of the tube. Now, of course, in the case of this guy, um, we're not able to do that due to the rail. That's really not that big of a deal to me. I do prefer the loading gate already, so it's kind of a non-issue for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree with that. So you can see on this uh, Henry right here that if you want to load it that way, it's through here, uh, you drop the rounds in. It's really not that big of a deal to me to have the loss of that. Uh, I don't think it matters that much. I mean, that's more so than California can fly in AR, which we don't have. And if we did, we'd probably just put it in our mouth. Now the action is a place where the Mad Pig Custom rifles really shine because they put a lot of work into the action to ensure that they function and mm -hmm. work very smoothly. It can be a little rough sometimes in the factory, um, but in the case of the Mad Pig Customs, like they just, they really cycle quite well. How's your seal? No, it feels really good. Now, of course, you do have a big lever loop on this one. We do have a Wild West Triggers. Now, in the case of the Henry, it is just a worked over Henry Trigger, and both are phenomenal. I have no bad things to say about the trigger work. But with that being said, we do have to do what I've wanted to do for a long time, which is for the first time Grantham, we are going to ghost camera, bro. those triggers together at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and press into it. We have no take up. Yeah, it's all nice. That was pretty good. That yeah, was no, about that was a really solid good. two pound pull right there. Let's try that one more time. Ready? Three, two, one. Nice. So on your traditional lever action, obviously you'd have the iron sight about at the rear of the barrel. Mm -hmm. But in the case of the Henry right here, the uh, iron sight has been moved to the rear right there. That's a longer sight radius. If you're mm -hmm. a type of guy who's not gonna be using an optic, mm -hmm. that of course is going to be superior due to the longer sight radius. So that is a cool thing about these rifles right here. Now we're gonna get to a part of the rifle that is my particular favorite. So I really, mm -hmm. really like the, that sounds so good. I love the traditional look of the stock. Now the chisel stock is really cool and has really good qualities. Yeah. But for me, I love the look of the wood. 
And what's really cool is, of course, based on the type of optic that you have, you might need to raise your cheek up. So being able to adjust that, and it just it adjusts so smoothly, it just looks oh, wow. so damn cool to me. That doesn't even move, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. Now, wow. also listen to that. Listen to the Look noise. At that. It just, it sounds so good. Oh, that's know? like its own grand. Now, in stark contrast, we do have the chisel stock, which in many ways is a more functional stock. It is very solid. Of course, we have the Mad Pig riser right there, which is very comfortable to run with, and it can be angled depending on the type of optic or setup that you have, depending on the shape of your face, if it's um, misshapen or whatever. And even better is that we, of course, have the ammo quiver right there, so we can have multiple rounds sitting right on the stock. That's oh, going to yeah. be nice to be yeah. able to store any type of ammunition that you need. It oh, is yeah. a excellent design. Oh yeah. So this really brings us to the end of the Mad Pig Custom Rifle. I frankly put this in rocks. Um, I love it. I think it is such a cool design. Like it, it, it really is taking the lever action to a point where it's a little bit more usable if this mm. is something where you want to use it at night and you're just dead set on using the lever action. Mm. This is the way to go. Point is, there's a lot to be said about a fun rifle that is also functional. This certainly falls into it. 4570 is an interesting cat if it's that is a caliber that you're looking to get into. But overall, I have to say that this is actually funny enough a rifle that I would recommend. Mm. Um, great design, just looks great. But the thing that we always know about these rifles is what? You gotta train with them. You gotta train. If you don't yeah. train, it's not gonna matter. So if this is the only rifle that you have, cool. Train mm. with it, get good with it because I'll tell you what, uh, 4570 vibe checking you is still a really, really bad day. Oh yeah. Even though it may be expensive ammo, there, there are also deals out there. You can just check around the internet, see who's selling it for less. Um, your mom's purse, you can get that. There's just, there's ample ways to feed this beast. We appreciate you guys so much. We got nothing else for you. Hello, Final you. thing for you guys, Charlie. Oh, besides I love you. Just get out there and get training. Um, dry fire, wet fire, whatever it may be. And if you're an ATF agent, you should probably just 